Now that we know a bit about arrays, we can actually look at some of the more advanced and more interesting things that we can do with them. Uh, so one of the things we'll do, we'll just go ahead and start with an array, var my array, and we'll set that equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. And just to make sure that it gives us what we want, we'll, we'll log it. My array is my array. And we can run this, and we can look at what it looks like. And it's going to give me 0, 1, 2, 3. Just opening up that log, uh, that log screen, you can use that, uh, you do that with your keyboard shortcut to make it nice and fast. So my array is 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, and we can check to see what, how, log it, or how long my array is. My array is my array dot length elements. We typically call the items in an array elements. And if we run this, we can see that it should have four elements. Now we can actually try to reverse it. So reversing it, you know, we could go through the process of setting the first thing to the last thing and the second thing. We could do that and it would take a long time. Fortunately, we can also just use my array dot reverse. And then we can say logger dot log my array reversed is my array. And we run this. And we look at, and we can see three, two, one, zero. We've actually reversed our array. Uh, and if we want to set it back, we can just use my array dot reverse again. Logger dot log. My original array is my array. And we can run this, and we'll see that we get three, two, or zero, one, two, three, three, two, one, zero, zero, one, two, three. So pretty straightforward. Now we can also use logger dot log my array as a string my array dot two string and whoop if we let's go ahead and fix that if we run this uh, it's taking a second here there we go if we run this you can see it's not altogether that much different than what we had originally and we could set a string to that var s is equal to my array dot two string and then we can just use s here in place but you can see it's going to give me the exact same thing if i run this and i look at my output zero one two three so i mean two string kind of works usually what we want to do is something like join so if i use var joined is equal to my array dot join You'll see if I don't pass anything into that, logger.log, my array joined is, and I run, and I view my output, and it's going to give me the exact same thing. Well, that's, that's not super interesting. But I can join with pretty much anything. You know, I could use, uh, I could use exclamation points. So if I say var exclamation, my array dot join and we'll use exclamation points here now we can just use logger dot log my array joined with exclamation points is exclamation and when we run this you'll see zero exclamation point one this is a very excited array zero one two three we can also just join the values together as a string logger dot log my array with no separation is and we can use my array dot join and then we just pass in two double quotes to just identify that that's an empty string we want to join it but we don't want anything in between and we save we run we view our log and it's zero one two three so we can use that and if we had a bunch of characters we could use that to join them together as a single string so join and two string, you know, you can see two string and join are going to do the same thing if we don't pass any parameters. But if we use that join with some other thing, we can actually make this kind of interesting. We can introduce lots of different things in between the values in our arrays. We can also use instance of. So one of the, one of the ways we might want to do this is uh, we could say if my array instance of and notice that's all one word no underscores no anything all lowercase if my array instance of string we can say logger dot log my array is an array 
else logger dot log my array is not an array. If we run this, we should see that my array is in fact an array. Yeah, my array is an array. But if we did this same thing, if with the string that we created before, s instance of array logger dot log to string gave us an array. How odd. Else logger dot log to string didn't give us a, str a string or an array as expected. Now we can run this and we can look at our log and it didn't give us an array. Two string is going to give us back a string. We're going to get a string. We can't compare that to see if it's an array. So that uh, that's going to that's going to actually do exactly what we hope it will do. So we can do some interesting things with arrays here. We can do some. Uh, we can reverse them. We can modify them. Uh, later on, we'll even see how we can sort arrays. Uh, but we can do a lot with just what's built into App Script with arrays. So uh, they make it pretty useful. They can be pretty useful, and they can uh, they can allow us to do a lot. Uh, we'll take a look at how we can use arrays within ranges in our next video. But for now, thanks for watching.